Okay, so we have our dogs a little barcootie reward, a little charcuterie reward just for them. Um, this is store bought. They are a little bit hard and they stuck together a little bit, so. Oreo seems to like it. Catch. Mm-hmm. Now let's go see if the picky eater will eat it. Let's see if Gidget likes the green bean. What if I break it up? looking like a solid no. Maybe. Mm -hmm. That's right on track for. The picky eater must have it to be only a certain size or she will not eat it. Let's see if Oreo will eat these. I guess it's supposed to be, I don't know what people eat on that charcuterie board, but I'm assuming it looks kind of like maybe, I don't know. Got no idea. Look what y'all. Something that Oreo will not eat. A miracle. I very seriously doubt that Gidget will eat that, but we'll see. She took a little nibble. Oh, she is eating it. I'm really, really surprised by that. Let's see if Gidget will eat the pepperoni. I'm a little bit shocked. I'm a little bit gobsmacked. I'm not gonna lie. Gidget's actually ate that pretty good. And now let's see if the sous chef from the last video will eat it. You can see she still has not touched the one that I gave her a minute ago. Ah, oh, and now she's rolling on it. That's usually one way that you can tell that she's gonna just play with her food. And not eat it. Now, for the little, I guess these are supposed to be crackers. We'll see if Oreo likes it. Oreo!
So as far as testing this little charcuterie board, so far I would say the reviews are not high. I feel like Gidget has ate some of that, but I really don't care much for like the quality of the snacks in this. I mean, honestly and truthfully, this just feels like rubber. This would definitely not be something that, you know, I would feed my dog often, if ever again, to be honest. That one's still working on it. I will say this, I'm very surprised because Gidget's not usually the one that eats the treats and the food like Oreo does. And for Oreo to not touch this hardly, I feel like it's very telling. She likes the green beans though. And they do look kind of realistic, just again, everything's really hard and rubbery, I guess. So in the future, I would like to do more reviews of, you know, dog specific products. Maybe down the line test, you know, um, some of the toys that claim to be more durable. Because, Lord knows, this one, Miss Gidget, can tear a toy up faster than anybody knows how. But, yeah. I would say my score for this would be probably a 2 out of 10. Just because I don't like the quality and it really would not be something that I would feed my dog again. Um, I mean they can eat it since I've paid for it and bought it. But But Again, for my review, probably a 2 out of 10. The presentation was very nice. I thought that, you know, it did kind of, I mean, you can tell this is just kind of like a cheap cardboard, but it does kind of look like a wood charcuterie board, I guess. You know, and the food did look realistic. I just don't like how the quality is, you know, again, from it being, you know, super rock hard to, you know, borderline rubbery. That would be my opinion. See y'all in the next vlog.